Next, we're on number five, integers. Now, integers is a whole number, and it's not associated to any fraction or decimals. So some examples of integers. And a reciprocal is a multiplicative inverse. So reciprocal of three would be one over three. Now, a factor of a whole number is a smaller whole number, which can be multiplied with another whole number to produce the first whole number. And a multiple, if one number is a multiple of a smaller number, it can be exactly divided by that smaller number. So factors and multiples are like opposite terms. Factor and multiple are like opposites. And factor is the same as divisor. So for example, if we have the number 6, which is 2 times 3, then 2 is a factor of the number 6. And 6 is a multiple of number 2. So as you can see, the numbers come in opposite places, and factors and multiples are pretty much like an opposite term. Now we have division. If we have n equals pq plus r, n is the dividend. p is the divisor. Q is the quotient, the result of division. And R is the remainder, the amount left over after a division. Now, there is one condition for the remainder, which is it should be greater than or equal to zero and always smaller than the absolute value of the divisor. So, for example, 11 is 4 times 2 plus 3. Then the remainder 3 is bigger than or equal to 0 and smaller than absolute 4. So remember these vocabularies, the divisor, the dividend, the quotient, and the remainder.